Well, Florida, we've done it again. Hey guys, I'm Nicholas Schrader, one half of the Schrader Brothers, Berkshire Hathaway Results Realty. And in this one, we're celebrating for Florida. So U.S. News and World Report just came out with their most recent updated list for the best places to retire in the country. How did Florida do? Drum roll, please. How about eight of the top 10 and 11 out of the top 20? Come on, live flow life. We keep saying it over and over and over and everyone's agreeing with us. Look at that, eight out of the top 10. So. How are they? Which which homes are they? Which ones are they? So let's go from bottom to top. How about that? So coming in at number 18, right here, Central Florida, Orlando, and the metro area. Not too bad. I'll take that. Uh, number 16, a little bit North Florida. We're going to Ocala. We've moved some people to Ocala over the past couple years. If you're very equestrian-like, a lot of areas there, um, you're getting some really good deals in that area as well. Uh, number 12, Lakeland, Polk County. Lots going on in Lakeland, Davenport, Haines City. Uh, lots of growth going on in those places. We are seeing um, a lot of people heading that way. It's convenient to Disney. It's convenient to Tampa. So it's very, very attractive to a lot of people. Uh, number 10, Pensacola, all the way up in the panhandle. Can't speak too much on that one. A little out of my comfort zone, but hey, it's still Florida. Uh, number 8, Port St. Lucie. Hmm? Another good spot to go to. Let's do your research on that one. Number seven, Fort Myers. We won't speak too much on that one. Number six, Tampa Bay. Just got back from there this past weekend. Always lots to do in Tampa. Always tons of reasons to retire in the Tampa area. You've got boating over there. You've got, obviously, lots of sports teams. You know, they do call it Tampa Bay. You know, I'm a Dolphins fan, but hey, go Bucks. Sure, why not? Uh, number four, just down the road, Brevard County heading over into Melbourne. So you got Melbourne, Cocoa Beach, Merritt Island, those areas. Um, always good because you've got the beach right there. You've got boating options, fishing options, just lots of stuff going on. And generally, if you're looking, you can probably find some sort of a deal in those places. So I, uh, I'm somewhat partial to Brevard County. That's where I try and do most of my boating. So congratulations, Melbourne, on being number four on that list. Number three, not too far up the road from Melbourne, Daytona Beach. All right, we got NASCAR, you got Bike Week, you've got all kinds of, of course, world's most famous beach is what they've always said, right? You can drive on the beach, lots of stuff going on in Daytona Beach, Volusia County, uh, generally get some good deals. You've got Ormond Beach over there as well, so lots and uh, lots of options over there. Number two is Naples, usually makes this list in one way, shape, or form. And number one is Sarasota, should be no surprise. Sarasota, Siesta Key, Bradington, all of those areas right there, extremely attractive to retirees, to those that want to get out on the water and boat. A lot of boat or friendly places over there. Um, and prices are very, very com uh, competitive there. You know, it's not going to be your Miami prices. Um, it's going to be more reasonable, as I like to say. Um, and you're going to get a lot, a lot for your money. Of course, these cities on this list, they are all experiencing an uptick in pricing. Obviously, when you make a list like this, you can expect that prices are going to continue to rise. So get in while you can. Even if you're not ready to retire, maybe it's a good time to look in those areas. As you know, they say real estate generally is not a bad investment, especially if you're looking to hold it. But if you hold it, chances are you'll get your money out of it eventually. Even if the market does dip, usually it'll come back stronger than ever. So just a real quick one, guys. Like I said, US News and World Report, it was their rankings of the top 20 metros in the country for retirees. Now, I think this was extends much further beyond retirees again because I love my sunshine state but that's the list I'd be more than happy to answer any questions on there we'll provide you with a link if you like just leave a comment we can provide a link for that guys we do these videos each and every Monday or Tuesday and to show you how to live Florida life that's what we're all about live flow life sometimes it's buyers related sometimes seller or sometimes just state related Obviously, you can always check out all of our videos and our website, Homes for Sale, our blog, so much more on liveflowlife.com. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, click the notification bell, whatever you choose, we do appreciate that. Again, if there's anything, anything we can do for you, you can reach us through the website or virtually all social media. We are on there as well. So please reach out and say, hey, we'd like to hear from you. Guys, I hope you have a good one. I do appreciate you watching, and we'll talk to you soon.